Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and set up the Crates Plus plugin on your Minecraft server. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is ensure that your server is running on Spigot so that you can actually run plugins. And then once you've done that, we can begin installing Crates Plus. So, go to the Plugins tab on the left hand side click the Spigot Plugins tab here and then search for Crates Plus with no spaces and it should be the latest one here so, in cl so click install latest and then restart the server to install the plugin and then once we've done that we can take a look at it in game So, once you've joined your server, you'll need to check that the Crates Plus plugin is working correctly. So if you type the command slash plugins, and then if you look for Crates Plus, it should show up as green. And to verify that, type slash crate, and then that should bring up all the commands available. And if you experience any errors, it, you've likely done something wrong. Um, so contact our support or take a look at your console for any errors. So once you've verified that the plugin's working correctly, we can go ahead and set up a crate. So if you type the command slash crate create and then the name of the crate, in this case I'm just going to call it tutorial. And then type slash crate settings. And then this brings up the settings and then you can just click edit crates. Select the crate you want to edit. And then edit the crate winnings. You can also rename it, change the color or delete it. But to set it up you need to edit the winnings. So by default it has this sword, so we're just going to remove that. We're going to add um, a diamond chest plate and um, a diamond sword and a bow. So to apply these winnings you just exit your inventory by pressing E. And then the winnings have been updated. So once we've done that we need to place the crate. So if you type slash crate, create, crate, and then the name of the crate, so tutorial, and then your username. And this will give the crate to you for you to place it. So if we just place it down here. And then once you've done that, you can left click, not right click, left click to open it. And then you can see the possible winnings that are available for this crate. So just exit that and then type the command slash crate key, your username, tutorial, which is the name of the crate. And this will give you a key to open it. So once you have a key, you can right click to open the crate and it will randomly give you an item. So we just wait for that and then it should give you the item that you've won shortly. So as you can see here, I've won a diamond sword. So that's simply how you set up crates, and it's really simple. So if you want to edit them again, you type slash crate settings, and then edit crates, select the crate you want to edit, and then you can rename it. So let's just rename this one to um, test, and then click done. And then that one's been renamed to test now. And then you can also edit the crate winnings again, so we can add this iron sword back in, and then exit to apply the changes. And if we just take a look at the other settings, you can also change the crate color and delete the crate. So that's simply how you set up the crates in game. Um, and let's have a look at the configuration files now on the control panel. So if you'd like to take a look at the configuration file for Crates Plus, go to the control panel and then go to the file manager tab on the left hand side, open the plugins folder, open the crates plus folder and then open this config.yml file and here are all the settings for the crates plus plugin and it also contains the crates and the winnings for the crates in this file where you can actually edit them um, here rather than in game so we're going to take a quick look at this file on a very basic level 